Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back from my two months hiatus. Sorry about that hiatus, I took a trip and it went on a bit long. Anyway, so today I am happy to report that I have created my own flourish slash false cut. So I'll start off by showing you that I have the Ace of Hearts on top of the deck, and the Ace of Spades on the bottom. So it's called the Dragon Sybil, and it looks like this. Sorry about that. Alright, so the tutorial might run a bit long, guys, so I hope you'll stick around with me. So, uh, there's a prerequisite to this, the Sybil Formation, alright? Now it's very easy, I'll teach it to you right now. So you're going to hold the deck in a dealer's grip, but with the deck slightly propped, onto the base of your thumb, or this bit, right here, alright, right where your thumb starts, slightly propped up on there, okay? And the duo grip is just your index finger up here on the top, and these two fingers laid across the side. So, you're going to take your thumb on your opposite hand, and prop up, up about half the packet, okay? With your thumb, and pivot it on your index finger, like this. Then you're going to come over with your index finger and prop off about two-thirds of that packet that you just propped off with your thumb. Just like this. Okay? And then you're going to use your index finger to prop off half of the packet that you just propped. Okay? So now you should have three packets and one resting in your hand. So quickly it should look like this. And it should be one fluid motion. Okay? So break off, off, break off, break off. Okay? So just practice that for a bit and then you'll be ready to do the flourish with a better practice. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get into your symbol formation, obviously, and you're going to twist your wrist clockwise, okay? If you're doing this right-handed mirror what I'm doing, obviously, but just twist your wrist clockwise, and that will naturally stick out that middle packet, which works to your advantage because you're going to use your middle finger and your thumb to grasp it like this, okay? Just like this, and pull it out from the middle to this position, and over to the front. Okay? Now from there, you're not going to go into a normal symbol where you grab it and keep doing this. That's not what you're going to do. You're going to split this top packet over here in half. You, so you're holding it like this, you come over with your middle finger, split it in half. Alright? Just like this. Alright? So you split it in half, and then you take this bottom pack, this middle packet that you have right here, the one between this one and this one, the one with the six of diamonds, what I'm wiggling around right now. Probably didn't need that much explanation, but anyway. So, and you're going to pivot it around, this time twisting yours counterclockwise, and put it and rest it on your thumb, just like this, okay? Now you're going to come over and grab not this packet, but this packet with your middle finger, just like that, and twist it out, like this, come back, and use your ring finger to kind of pivot this around your middle finger, and grab it with your thumb, alright, so you've sort of got it between your uh, middle finger and your thumb right now, just like this, then you're going to, so you're in this position right here, you're going to push your hand forward, dropping that packet you have on your thumb onto the rest of the deck, okay? So now you should be here with a sideways packet in between your uh, ring finger and your thumb and two other packets between your middle finger and your thumb and your index finger and your thumb, okay? So your thumb is holding three packets. So now you're going to come over with your index finger on your other hand, the hand that's holding the deck, and pivot out that middle packet just like this, okay? And you're going to grab it between these three fingers, your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger. And then you're going to put this sideways packet in between your middle finger and thumb. And you're going to put this packet on your thumb. All right, so now you're here. And then you're basically just going to repeat the thing we did first, twist clockwise, grab this at the edges, Bring it out, like this, grab it, 
between your middle finger, your ring finger, and your pinky. Ring middle finger on the far left side, ring finger on the top, and pinky on the far right. And bring it out like this. So you're over here with it. Then you're going to come over, twist your wrist again, without bringing this in, twist your wrist, and grab the top packet between your thumb and your middle finger, just like this. Bring it out. This is your spread moment. That's what I call a spread moment. So you're going to completely straighten these fingers and completely straighten your thumb. And you're basically going to get all the cards as far apart from each other as possible. So just like this. Alright? Then you're going to collapse these two into one packet just like that. Let this fall out -drawed, And then put that on top. Alright, so now you have an out packet in the middle. Which you are then going to pivot out just like that. And you're going to twist your wrist so that the cards are facing up. And flatten it. But hold on to one card. Okay, this is the top card. You're going to flip it so it's face up. Then drag it forward until it gets here. Okay? So it's on the back of your hand now. Then you're going to switch grip oops, to just this. You're going to bring it up to here. Then put your middle finger on the back. And just flip it on top. Just like that. So now you're done. And the Ace of Hearts is still around the top of the deck. And the Ace of Spades is still on the bottom. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly lengthy tutorial. And I will see you in the next video.